Now I'm going to explain how to adjust NFS 6604 series flat seamer sewing machine by using special adjustment tools. Since flat seamer sewing machine requires very sensitive adjustments, it is very important to use these special tools that I'm going to introduce. So if you do not have these special tools, please contact your local Kansai special distributor. This is part number 166601, needle bar height adjustment tool. This is 166603, looper front back adjustment tool. 166604, looper angle adjustment tool. 166609, Looper and needle distance adjustment tool. 166605, looper left right momentum adjustment tool. 166611, timing gauge set. If you do not know where to find those tools, Please contact our official website and then request for the information. First, I will open covers. Please take out screw for the pressure for and cover for needle bar. Use 2 mm hex key to loose screw. These two screws are for prime the pump. You do not have to take out these screws. Please note that this hole goes through, so we attach gasket to prevent oil leakage. Also, 
Please apply silicone when you tightening the screw to be more secure. Take out needles. Next, take out pressure foot. To take out pressure foot, you need to take out upper knife, which is attached to the pressure foot. First, loosen this screw with 3mm hex key. Second, loosen this screw. Then you can take out upper knife. Take out pressure foot. Loosen these two screws. And loosen screw behind the pressure foot. Then you can use this screw to lift up the pressure foot bar. Tighten up, loosen and down. Tighten up, loosen, down. Continue this method until pressure foot shaft go up enough to take out pressure foot. Remove needle plate. Remove feed dock. Attach needle plate. Make sure that needle plate is fully attached. To be more secure, you can put screws. Insert needles. I recommend to put all needles in the needle holder to adjust the angle of needle holder more precisely. Locate needle bar at highest position. Needle bar height and angle adjust by this screw. Six millimeter gauge needle bar height is twelve point seven millimeter. Five point two millimeter gauge needle bar height is thirteen point four nine millimeter. Depends on material you stitch, you can change the height to thirteen point zero eight millimeter or thirteen point eight nine millimeter. But Consider 13.49 is the standard needle bar height for 5.2 mm gauge. Check the height of needle at fourth needle. I recommend to check by using magnifying glass. Angle of the needle holder should be like this. You can use metal ruler and check at line on needle plate.
needle holder is very slightly angled this way. Make sure that needle bar screw is tightened enough and check the height and angle after you did final tighten. This is a tool for checking looper front back movement. The standard amount of looper front back movement is between 2.1 to 2.4 mm. Attach this tool when the looper shaft is all the way back. Insert the tool and tighten with 2 mm hex key. Turn the hand pulley to make sure it runs smoothly. The tip of this shaft has two heights. The high part is 2.4 mm and the lower part is 2.1 mm. Turn the hand pulley and move looper shaft until it comes to all the way front. Then check the tip of the shaft. If one side of the tip is out and other side is inside, the adjustment is correct. The looper front back momentum is changed at this screw. Tightening this screw in the lower position will increase the momentum. Tightening this screw in the upper position will reduce the momentum. I will tighten this screw in the lower position to see how it changes. Move the looper shaft at all the way back. Insert tool. Push out the shaft all the way and tighten with 2 mm hex key. Both sides of the tip of the shaft is inside. This means the looper momentum is more than 2.4 mm. Now I have to tighten this screw in the upper position to reduce momentum. Remember that every time when you change the momentum of looper front back, you have to take out the tool. Move the looper shaft at all the way back. Insert tool, push out the shaft all the way and then tighten with 2 mm hex key. Turn the hand wheel and make sure it runs smoothly.
Also, make sure that when the looper shaft is at the all the way back, there should not be any space here. This is correct position. One side is out and other side is inside. 